Disasters. Smoking. Cigarettes. Alcohol. Forest fires. Disease. Cancer. Domestic violence. Falling. What do I consider lethal? Well, obviously things that kill people. What do I consider lethal? Leaving your door unlocked and crazy people can get in. A shot to the head. Stupid people with guns. AIDS. Bombs. Murderers. So what do you consider lethal? For most, it's a matter of perspective. It's either the dangers they sense immediately around them, or it's based on an experience they had. We asked random people what they thought was the number one killer of teens in America. Here's what they said. Number one killer of teens in America would be... I would probably say drugs. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Drugs. I don't know, drugs? Probably something drug related. Meth. <laughs> probably have something to do with guns. I would say acting stupid. Monster trucks. Drunk driving, I guess. Probably drunk driving. Drunk driving. <laughs> drunk driving. I would have to say cigarettes. Gang violence. Violence. I would have to say negative thinking. Animals. <laughs> smoking crack and getting pregnant. So some of you are watching this thinking, great, the same old crap we always hear about. Drunk driving, drugs, and the evils of pirating music. But the number one killer of teens in America is something we've all participated in. Distracted and reckless driving. Seriously, we've all sent a text message while driving. Updated our Facebook, made a playlist, dug through a bag, turned to talk to friends, all while supposedly paying attention to the road. So for the next few minutes, we want to show you the lives that have been shattered by distracted and reckless driving and the simple things that you can do to avoid becoming a statistic. A teenager is dead after an overnight accident and police say speed was a factor. The cops estimated he was going about 100 miles an hour. She went head on into another car and that gentleman was killed also. And basically they were just being kids driving a little bit fast is all good intentions. A special vigil tonight to remember a standout athlete. My daughter has lost one of her very dearest friends, her big brother. There was an invitation on the roof as to where he had sent it. I visualized that for years afterwards. I think he clipped the sidewalk or the curb, went upside down. The experts say car accidents are the number one killer of teens nationwide. I don't have my brother anymore. He's, he's not here. He's not around. And I heard him say time of death. And I just freaked out. So what exactly is reckless and distracted driving? Let's put it this way. Anytime you have to take your eyes off the road for any reason, that's distracted driving. And reckless driving, that's speeding and driving like a total idiot. Now for the simple part. How do you keep from needlessly dying in a car crash? That's easy. First, you tell your friends that as much as you love them to sit down and shut up when you're behind the wheel. If they continue to fool around in your car, Tell them how great they would look with a feeding tube in their stomach. Second, you realize that you decrease the risk of crashing your sweet car by 2,000% when you don't text and drive. Third, you come to terms with the fact that you might have to wake up two minutes earlier just so you're not speeding and running stop signs and putting your life and the lives of others at risk just so you're not late. Still not exactly sure what reckless and distracted driving is? Let's hear what our resident expert has to say. Hi everyone, it's Katie here to talk to you about your driving habits. So, here you are driving along with your peeps. You got your window down, tunes blaring, giggling like toddlers in a candy shop. When you, the driver, decides to impress your friends with an outlandish display of horsepower. Really? Breaking the speed limit? Risking your life just for kicks and giggles? Come on, people. That's called reckless driving. How about this little scenario? You are a safe driver who never speeds or breaks the law. But as you are driving, you just have to send that important text message about the guy who likes to girl at school, or does he know, or does she know, or do you know, or whoopsie daisy, you just hit a telephone pole. Hello, folks. You're driving a 6,000 pound metal beast. Don't you think the latest awesome school gossip could wait? That's distracted driving. You drive like that in my hood, my mom will be all up in your grill. Faster than you could say, oh no, she didn't, girlfriend. I gotta run. Yeah, I think we all learned something today. Everyone gets distracted while driving. So what distracts you?
if I'm reading directions as I'm driving, I get distracted. Putting on makeup. Just getting lost in thought and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Like eating. Eating, drinking, looking for stuff in my purse. Oh, the beautiful sunset. Just staring over there while I'm driving, you know? Friends in the back seat. Other people in the car. Looking for something on the floor. I definitely talk on the phone while I drive. And I don't want to admit that I get distracted, but I do. Probably just music. Should like change my music on my iPod or texting. Texting. Texting, emailing. Texting. Texting, texting iPods, <laughs> talking. Texting. Some people suck at texting when they're driving. I, however, am really good at it. What you often hear from victims is that they never thought it would happen to them. That their son, daughter, friend, or classmate would be involved in a fatal car crash. And absolutely no one can imagine causing such a tragic event. Let me tell you about Donovan. He was my teammate. He was my son. He was a classmate. He was my best friend. He was my boyfriend. My son was my baby boy. We were just kids, like, having fun. We were laughing, we were blaring the music up really loud. And I noticed that we were going pretty fast. And it was causing the car to swerve back and forth. We were, like, making fun of her, telling her, like, can't you keep the car, like, in a straight line? My response was, oh, like this? And I jerked the wheel back and forth. And the next thing I know, I just see a tree coming at us. I remember like all the sounds of like the car crashing. I looked around and I see Donovan, but he wasn't moving. So I sat with Danica. I kept telling her, I think Donovan's dead. Donovan's dead. I even remember calling out Donovan's name and you know, hoping that he would hear me and just get up. I saw him like laying in his own blood. And I knew for sure that he was gone. When we walked up, he said that's what he first said. He said I remember hearing Martha, not my son, not my boy. And I think that was one of the most painful things to experience, was hearing a mother cry about her son. The screaming of a mother, just now finding out that her son is dead. And all simply because of something that was so preventable. We were just going home. Speed wasn't really a factor. Before we knew it, like, in a matter of seconds, we lost our best friend. It was my fault being the driver because I had that responsibility. I would change it if I could. We were just having fun. And within a split second, I lost somebody that meant the world to me. It changed my life forever. the compelling stories, you've seen the stats, and unless you are sleeping or busy worried about what your teacher is wearing today, you understand the simplicity of the message. What is lethal to teens are bad driving habits, something that can be changed, something that can start saving lives today. So now it's your turn. Fill out the I Commit card, visit the website whatdoyouconsiderlethal.com, and help us promote this important cause by participating in Create Real Impact Contest. Most importantly, when you're behind the wheel, focus on the road ahead of you and get where you're going safely. And the reason this is so important to me, my life was shattered by a reckless driver who took the lives of my mom, two best friends, and niece while I was pulled from the burning wreckage. I live every day thinking about what could have happened if that driver had chosen to drive differently. Don't let it happen to you.